Several people in Nanaimo had to be treated by paramedics after being pepper sprayed during a violent robbery this morning. Dean Stoltz now with more on how shoppers and staff tried to stop the suspect who attempted to rob a lottery booth. You normally have to buy a ticket to win at any lottery booth, but a desperate thief had different ideas after casing out this BC lottery counter at Country Club Mall in Nanaimo. A fellow had come up to the counter and demanded uh, the money. And of course she said, well, you got to be kidding. And uh, at that he went around to the side of the booth, hopped over the counter and came in the counter with her. It was 10 a.m. Ted Fitzgerald's employee was working alone at the time and was sprayed with bear spray by the thief as he tried to get at the safe behind the counter. As soon as the woman started screaming, everybody stopped because it, you know, was a, a screaming of pain, right? And so the mall went quiet and then all of a sudden you hear stop, stop, and the guy's just booking it down the hallway. Two regular Lotto customers had seen what happened and were now chasing the suspect down the mall, along with security and other mall staff. But the brazen robber wasn't finished with his bear spray. One of the guys from the mall almost grabbed him, and when he went to grab him, um, the guy went shot over his shoulder with pepper spray and got him in the face stopped him dead in his track. Several people tried to stop the man but were held off by bursts of bear spray. The suspect then ran out the mall entrance near Savon Foods and jumped into a waiting van across the road. There's information that an elderly male who was standing at the bus stop saw him get into a newer model Toyota Sienna, silver in color. This is the suspect as he was caught on surveillance cameras before the attempted robbery. He's a white male in his late teens or early 20s, standing 6 feet tall, 170 pounds, with short dark hair, dark rimmed glasses, and what are described as rotten teeth. He was wearing a blue and grey plaid jacket with dark pants and a black pack sack. Several people, including the lotto counter clerk, were treated by paramedics. The clerk, we hear, is doing okay. She was pretty cool about the whole thing, I have to say. Uh, she's worked in retail for 30 years and uh, she, she handled herself in a very professional manner. The thief got away empty-handed. If you have any information on who he might be, call the Nanaimo RCMP.